Your daily cup of coffee may be doing more for you than providing that early morning pick-me-up. The latest wave of scientific evidence brings a wealth of good news for coffee lovers. This video presents six reasons drinking coffee may be healthy for you. Number 1. Coffee is a potent source of healthful antioxidants. In fact, coffee shows more antioxidant activity than green tea and cocoa, two antioxidant superstars. Scientists have identified approximately 1,000 antioxidants in unprocessed coffee beans, and hundreds more developed during the roasting process. Numerous studies have cited coffee as a major, and in some cases the primary, dietary source of antioxidants for its subjects. How it works Antioxidants fight inflammation, an underlying cause of many chronic conditions, including arthritis, atherosclerosis, and many types of cancer. They also neutralize free radicals, which occur naturally as a part of everyday metabolic functions, but which can cause oxidative stress that leads to chronic disease. In other words, antioxidants help keep us healthy at the micro level by protecting our cells from damage. Finally, chlorogenic acid, an important antioxidant found almost exclusively in coffee, is also thought to help prevent cardiovascular disease. Number 2. Caffeine provides a short-term memory boost. When a group of volunteers received a dose of 100 mg mg of caffeine, about as much contained in a single cup of coffee, Austrian researchers found a surge in the volunteers' brain activity, measured by functional magnetic resonance imagery fMRI, as they performed a memory task. The researchers noted that the memory skills and reaction times of the caffeinated volunteers were also improved when compared to the control group, who received a placebo and showed no increase in brain activity. How it works? Caffeine appears to affect the particular areas of the brain responsible for memory and concentration, providing a boost to short-term memory, although it's not clear how long the effect lasts or how it may vary from person to person. Number 3. Coffee may help protect against cognitive decline. In addition to providing a temporary boost in brain activity and memory, regular coffee consumption may help prevent cognitive decline associated with Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. In one promising Finnish study, researchers found that drinking 3 to 5 cups of coffee daily at midlife was associated with a 65% decreased risk of Alzheimer's and dementia in later life. How it works? There are several theories about how coffee may help prevent or protect against cognitive decline. One working theory, caffeine prevents the buildup of beta amyloid plaque that may contribute to the onset and progression of Alzheimer's. Researchers also theorize that because coffee drinking may be associated with a decreased risk of type 2 diabetes, a risk factor for dementia, it also lowers the risk for developing dementia. Number 4. Coffee may help curb certain cancers. Men who drink coffee may be at a lower risk of developing aggressive prostate cancer. In addition, new research from the Harvard School of Public Health suggests that drinking four or more cups of coffee daily decreased the risk of endometrial cancer in women by 25%, as compared to women who drank less than one cup a day. Researchers have also found ties between regular coffee drinking and lower rates of liver, colon, breast, and rectal cancers. How it works? Polyphenols, antioxidant phytochemicals found in coffee, have demonstrated anti-carcinogenic properties in several studies and are thought to help reduce the inflammation that could be responsible for some tumors. Number 5. Coffee may lessen your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. A growing body of research suggests an association between coffee drinking and a reduced risk of diabetes. A 2009 study found that the risk of developing diabetes dropped by 7% for each daily cup of coffee. Previous epidemiological studies reported that heavy coffee drinkers, those who regularly drink four or more cups daily, had a 50% lower risk of developing diabetes than light drinkers or non-drinkers. How it works? Scientists believe that coffee may be beneficial in keeping diabetes at bay in several ways. Number 1. By helping the body use insulin and protecting insulin-producing cells, enabling effective regulation of blood sugar. Number 2. Preventing tissue damage. And number three, battling inflammation, a known risk factor for type 2 diabetes. One component of coffee known as caffeic acid has been found to be particularly significant in reducing the toxic accumulation of abnormal protein deposits, amyloid fibrils, found in people with type 2 diabetes. Decaffeinated coffee is thought to be as beneficial or more so than regular. Number six, coffee can enhance exercise performance. We've been conditioned to believe that caffeine is dehydrating, one of the primary reasons why fitness experts recommend nixing coffee pre- and post-workout. 
However, recent research suggests that moderate caffeine consumption, up to about 500 milligrams, or about 5 cups per day, doesn't dehydrate exercisers enough to interfere with their workout. In addition, coffee helps battle fatigue, enabling you to exercise longer. How it works? Caffeine is a performance and endurance enhancer. Not only does it fight fatigue, but it also strengthens muscle contraction, reduces the exerciser's perception of pain, and increases fatty acids in the blood, which supports endurance. The bottom line? Coffee is a highly popular beverage around the globe that boasts a number of impressive health benefits. If you enjoy its taste and tolerate its caffeine content, don't hesitate to pour yourself a cup or more throughout the day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our videos of food and nutrition.